All right, so I'm going to show you. I have uh, all diamond melees now. now. I'm going to show you my class setups for my knives only classes and how to get three throwing knives. All right, so first of all, let's go to divisions. I have four divisions that I have set up here. Uh, let's start by selecting expeditionary. Expeditionary gives you an extra piece of lethal equipment, so if you select serrated as your basic training, it gives you three throwing knives now in theory. Uh, but it wasn't working, it was only giving you two prior, prior to this last uh, update. So what I learned was there's a little glitch here, I think. Um, and basically if you select Expeditionary with serrated, you have the three knives here. You can now change to another class like Resistance, for instance, and you still have three throwing knives. You can also select a uh, single uh, piece of equipment, tactical equipment, or two tactical uh, concussion grenades. Smoke grenades only gives you one, gas grenade gives you two, and the signal flare gives you two. We'll stick with a smoke grenade. You also, by selecting Resistance, obviously get the tack knife and the extra attachment. But as you can see, you can switch to other classes like Mountain. You lose the um, tack knife, obviously, but you still have three throwing knives. You switch to Armored, you've got three. Airborne, you've got three. Infantry, you've got three. Let's go back to Expeditionary, obviously, because that gives you the ability to throw equipment faster, farther, and while sprinting. So if you're gonna use the throwing knives, this is probably the best class to do it because you also resupply those knives from killed enemies. But of course the downside is you don't have the tack knife and you're not hidden from radar and you're not quiet. It's kind of stupid that they didn't give you the ability to have a sort of stealth class. Kind of give you all those things. Unfortunately, it's what it is. All right. Let's look at the uh, <coughs> shovel here. You can see I've got all the shovels. Um, and you'll see, let's see, so let's select the shovel, flash, and the camouflage. You can see I've got diamond and gold. The gold looks good, the brass looks great, copper, um, and of course diamond. Let's select the ice pick. I've got all of these as well. So the Rattler, which is the epic one that's gold. You can add more gold, but it still looks kind of funky. Uh, the copper's pretty good, the brass not so good, and then you can see I've got the diamond on that as well. Um, the trench knife. I don't have the original because it didn't give it to me for some reason, even though I unlocked the entire collection. And the teeth grinder, of course, is the heroic. But this one kind of sucks because it only gives you the camo on the um, handle. So the gold doesn't look so bad. I think the copper actually is the best. But you can see the diamond there. And of course the combat knife. I have all these including the new Heroic Deliverance which is awesome. Um, and there's the bronze. For some reason this one's darker and blurrier. I don't know why. Gold looks great. Diamond you know, is exceptional. All right, so there you go. All diamond melees. Hopefully, they're gonna add some new, exciting melees. Guess we'll wait and see. Um, so anyway, my class is here, airborne. I like this because. Um, obviously you can run fast and keep sprinting for longer distances so sometimes that's good to have depending on who you're playing against I like to have ma mountain version so I am hidden from radar and a little bit more stealthy the expeditionary I already explained and the resistance I like uh, having this option as well uh, because it gives you the ability to uh, have the tack knife as well as the three throwing knives. 
All right, that's it. <laughs> Shay's stamp of approval. <laughs>